Alright guys, Dominic here for Kit Guru, and today I'm going to be presenting my truncated review of NVIDIA's brand new RTX 4070. I say truncated review as, unfortunately, you can probably tell, my throat has really tightened up over the last day or so, which is really awful timing, so I'm going to have to do things a little bit differently today as I just can't sit here for 30 to 45 minutes like I usually would for a launch review like this. Instead, I'm going to be putting up the graphs for all of our game benchmarks for things like ray tracing and some other key metrics, so at least that way you can get the data in video form. Again, I do apologise, this isn't what I wanted to do for a launch day review. However, if you do want to check out all of the written analysis and see every single one of the over 220 charts that I produced as part of this review, you can head over to the written article in kitguru.net, which I'll link down in the description. Iron Wolf Pro. Tough, ready, scalable. So in for testing today, of course, we have the NVIDIA Founds Edition, but alongside that, I also have the Gigabyte WinForce OC model, as well as the Palette Dual. And we are assured by NVIDIA that these cards will be targeting the £589 MSRP. All of our testing was done on our brand new GPU test system, which was provided to us by PC Specialist. This is built around Intel's i9-3900KS, a Gigabyte Z790 Gaming X AX motherboard, and we also have 32GB of Corsair Dominator Platinum RGB DDR5 memory. I'm just going to show you now the 1440p and 4K benchmarks for the RTX 4070. Like I say, I did also test 1080p, so you can find that data and everything else on the written review on kitguru.net, but for now, it's time to roll the benchmarks.
So that was the 12 individual games that I benchmarked for this review, but it's also worth taking a look at the big picture overview with the 12 game average at both 1440p and 4K. Of course, all of that data so far has been looking at the rasterized games, but it's now time to look at ray tracing. And here we're going to be focusing on 1080p and 1440p purely due to the extra demand placed on a GPU by this technology. And I've benchmarked six more games with ray tracing enabled. You may also want to enable DLSS for some of those titles as they can get pretty demanding and here I've taken a look at DLSS 2 Super Resolution using the quality mode and compared that against the 3070 Ti as well as AMD's RX 6800 using FSR quality mode. Being a new Ada Lovelace GPU as well, DLSS 3 frame generation is also a feature available to the RTX 4070, where again I re-benchmarked those last three games, comparing frame generation to both DLSS 2 as well as native resolution, so you can get an idea of both the frame rates and the latency on offer. Regular viewers will also know that graphics card only power draw and performance per watt are two key metrics that I also like to focus on. 
So now we're just going to take a quick look at the average power draw for the RTX 4070 over the 12 games I tested, and then we can see how that translates into efficiency with our performance per watt chart. Lastly then, at the beginning of this video, I of course did mention that I've also tested the Gigabyte WinForce OC model alongside the Palette Dual, so it wasn't just the NVIDIA Founders Edition. If you're interested in picking up either of these cards, you're obviously going to want to know about things such as thermals, acoustics, so here I'm going to roll through both the thermals and the noise levels, as well as noise normalized thermals for the GPU and the memory. So that is where I'm going to end this video guys, apologies again, I know this isn't the usual in-depth review that you'd expect from me for one of these launches, but I do hope at the very least being able to see the key benchmarks in video form has been helpful. As another reminder, if you want to see the full analysis, all my thoughts on the RTX 4070 and for every single one of the 220 charts I ended up putting together for this review you can head over to the written article on kickguru.net, which is linked in the description. Suffice to say, I don't think the 4070 is going to be blowing anyone away, but that's where I'm going to leave this video, guys. If you liked it, please do toss me a thumbs up, and as always, let me know your thoughts down below. Please do subscribe if you haven't already, and I'd also love to hear your thoughts over in our Discord server, which is linked in the description. While you're there, you can pick up some of our brand new merch, and if you're feeling particularly generous, you could even consider subscribing to us on Patreon. That's it for this one though, guys. I'm Dominic for Kit Guru, and I'll see you in the next video.